I want to make a really nuanced point about trauma. Trauma, you could say it's a lack of love that we experience, usually in our formative years, you know, if we're talking about complex trauma or developmental trauma. And of course, you know, that's the, the, the most basic form is just almost like a lack of touch that we experience. Certainly then a lack of attunement to the inner world of the child over time will develop into complex trauma. There's and then of course like uh, just explicit abuse, neglect. Now the, the subtle point I'm gonna make here is that the trauma now as adults that we're living with, maybe this is an obvious point, but I just felt like I wanted to say this in a video. You know, as adults, it's not what happened to us. That's the trauma that we're carrying. It's what we interjected about ourselves back then that we are still carrying inside ourselves. It's technically, that's what's the issue. Whatever traumas I would face as a child, there was some sort of a philosophy even, you could think of, behind that behavior that I, I, I met, that we met. And that sort of goes in and it sits there as these sort of energies. You could say they're like thought forms, almost. Now they're incredibly powerful when they went to the body and they are held in the body. You know, it's true that the, that idea that the body keeps the score, that's very true. But really it's something that I've come to accept. Like for instance, I now uh, I'm holding on to shame because of this defective story that there's something wrong with me. My authentic personality is not gonna hack it here. Interject. Now I'm carrying that. Now, there may have been all sorts of ways that I learned that, by neglect and shouting and abuse. But what's important in my life now is, that, is this thing that I've interjected. There's something wrong with my personality. That's what I'm walking around with. That's the unconscious thing that is creating my world for me. It's influencing all my relationships out here. So the idea here is that what we're trying to do, of course, there's an awful lot of body work with trauma, but we're trying to find the interject, the thing that we swallowed in, and we're trying to get it up and put it down, you know, spit it out effectively. There's so many of these things, but I have found, and it's a theory I always believed in, but in practice, I've seen it so many times. Like it is, shame it's guilt it's unworthiness it's smallness it comes back to that all the time the precursor for that is a sense of being abandoned or rejected but then we go into this as as, as children we go into something's wrong with me why have i been rejected why have i been abandoned why am i alone why is my personality running, running into all these problems something is wrong with me we don't even know we're interjecting this, but we are taking it in. It's, we don't even have the language for it, but it's almost like the concept, the idea, the philosophy is interjected. The language comes later, maybe, when we're, when we're more, a bit, bit more um, intellectual. But we are inquiring all the time into the triggers now as adults, and those triggers they're, they're felt in the body very viscerally. But there is an idea underneath them. Now, there may not even, this is a strange thing I'm going to say here, there may not even be any language behind that idea. But it's an idea, nonetheless, that is causing that energy in the body. I, I think I might make a video on that at some point. Ideas are different to language. A concept can exist before we have the language to describe it or to communicate it, to express it or share it. 
So these interjects are sometimes, you know, you know they're, they're not even verbal, but they are conceptual. In any case, what we do is we find out what this thing is and we start to question it because the good news is also that none of them are true. And, you know, I think sometimes people think that's so naive to make a blanket statement that um, there's nothing wrong with anybody. But again, you know, like when you sit with enough people and you do enough inquiry and questioning into these interjects, these shame-based stories, self-perceptions, you realize that they can't really hold up to much scrutiny. You do realize that this isn't true. And nobody's story of shame and, neglect and, and defectiveness and unworthiness is actually true. It's just a story. That's all it is. Now, it may be multi-generational. My father had it. My grandfather had it. You know, his father had it. But that's all it is. It's an old story. But, you know, you can always change your story. You won't want to. Your nervous system is trained in carrying that story. It's very attached to that story. And a part of changing the story is realizing that it is safe to let this go now. I don't need to carry it any longer. It's not protecting me. Far from it. But that's what we're trying to do here when we're working with trauma is to it is somatic, it is body work, but we're trying to find the sort of the concepts or the assumptions that are underneath those intense emotions that are being triggered all the time. Guys, I hope that's somewhat useful. I know I was rambling there quite a lot. Um, but uh, again, yeah, I hope this was a useful video. Um, if Anything I've talked about here has brought up anything for you, you can contact me at my website. Um, and uh, I'm available for one-to-one -one work as well in therapy. Guys, take care of yourselves, and I will talk to you again next time. Bye for now.